brain transplant or is it the first is it for is it really possible i would be answering this question at the very end and i'll tell you an exact clue which will indicate the possibility of a brain transplant in the future but a second equally pertinent question is is brain transplant the terminology itself correct is it correct i'll try and explain to you why i think it is not correct and i'd like to know your views on that you can answer it to yourself or you can comment at the bottom in the last 100 years we've undergone tremendous progress in the field of medicine we've been able to reach a stage where we are able to transplant hearts we've been able to transplant lungs liver and kidney has become an everyday affair in a good hospital we've been able to transplant even pancreas in case of severe diabetics we've been able to transplant intestines skin was being used for a long time for transplants and then there have been instances where face has been transplanted too but yes brain has still stayed elusive but my question is whether the terminology brain transplant is correct now let's look at what happens with a heart transplant the heart is damaged irreversibly not functioning well you think of a new heart think of a new heart when you understand that leaving behind the old heart would lead the person to definite death that's the time you think of a new heart same with the liver when the liver has failed same with the kidney a patient with chronic kidney disease requiring multiple dialysis would be a perfect patient for a transplant similarly for pancreas similarly for the lungs so when an organ fails or is not able to function optimally or even adequately to maintain our life that's the time when we think of a transplant and in fact that's the only time so it is usually a life saving procedure now let's go to the brain if the brain is similarly damaged irreversibly what can be done can we remove that brain put a new brain now think of that simple idea that would ideally mean a brain transplant where you remove that brain put a new brain now if you think about it you are effectively putting a different person in there so that's not how it works so what we think as brain transplant what we would identify as brain transplant would be a different scenario it would be for a case where the brain is functioning optimally but your body is not think of a patient involved in a bad accident where his limbs have been badly damaged where his lungs are damaged where his entire body is damaged but his brain is not damaged it's functioning that's one scenario second is a patient with a very bad cancer which is spread to all the body parts barring the brain the brain has been protected the rest of the body is involved that's another case think of a patient with a motor neuron disease the brain is functioning optimally example would be stephen hawking's the brain was working more than optimally but his body couldn't keep up so these would be the patients these would be the conditions which would be the ideal candidate for a brain transplant or now you think about it is this person getting a brain or is this brain getting a body and that is precisely the question and the answer would be he or that person is getting a body transplant so what we've always been talking about as brain transplant effectively to me means a body transplant and i think that would be the right terminology
if you've still not understood just think about asking a person okay who has got a terminal cancer to spread everywhere go and ask him okay so tomorrow you are posted for a brain transplant he would say no i'm getting a new body i'm going to be the same and what i mean by same is actually my body my brain my brain is what actually defines me it defines me in terms of what i can do what i can't it defines me in terms of how my experience has been it defines my memory it defines everything that i stand for so when we think about brain transplant i actually feel it's a misnomer i think it's wrongly called a brain transplant and what it should ideally be called should be a body transplant now we come to the first question is it possible yes it could be possible but not yet we've not evolved so much why that discrepancy between the brain and the other organs i can answer it in very simple terms when we look at the heart the heart largely functions at the blood level so what we are trying to do is we are removing the old heart and putting a new heart connecting the arteries and the vein the blood is pumped in the blood goes out effectively and everything is sorted when we look at the kidneys again we put in a new kidney and we connect the renal artery the renal veins and again the kidney is functional but when it comes to the brain apart from the blood vessels the arteries and the veins which go to the brain being connected a very 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 important elements or element also comes to the fore and that would be the neural tissue so there there in comes the problem we need to connect the brain with the spinal cord because the message that comes from the brain to the rest of the body is carried along these pathways of the neurons going from the brain to the spinal cord so the answer for the clue to the possibility of a transplant happening at some point would be when the quadriplegics or the patients with severe spinal cord injury start getting their spinal cord mended medically operated or using technology which as yet is not available once that thing starts happening that would be the point where we can actually think and imagine that yes brain transplant or head transplant or to put it correctly body transplant is on the anvil and it is just around the corner thank you